months since little Zayna Boudrame was nearly mauled to death by two pit bulls. Uh, that little cute six-year-old girl continues to make huge strides now in her recovery. And tonight, one of the police officers who helped save her is finally opening up about that terrifying day. When you see a, a child um, being slung in the air by two animals, um, it, it almost doesn't look real when you see it in person. It, you, you couldn't believe it. Um, you kind of, when you pull up, you expect to kind of see maybe the dogs running away. Um, but they were continuing to attack her like it was a, a toy. Um, that's how bad it looked. Um, how effortless it was for the dogs to move her around. And, um, it, you know, that is something that, like I said, I'll never forget. And you, you, when you jump out of the car, there's not, you don't think about anything other than she needs help and we're going to do it. Officer Kyle Strunk and three other of his fellow officers were actually they actually received an award last week for saving Zainabu. And tonight there's another chance to help this brave little girl. WLWT News 5's Andrew Setters is leading the way with how her family is saying thank you. <laughs> Tanina Drame says she still has a difficult time finding the words to express her thanks to the four police officers who helped save her daughter's life. To thank them for saving her life, you know, and um, responding as quickly as they did. Back in June, six year old Zainabu Drame was mauled by two pit bulls. Her injuries were so severe there was doubt she would survive. After nearly six months of recovery, she's doing amazingly well. When I start looking back at like the hospital pictures and reading the reports and stuff, you know, it's just, it's, it's amazing how far, because it was touch and go. Zaina, as she's called, lost her tongue in the attack and has to eat through a feeding tube. When we eat, I just let her, you know, fix her plate or get whatever she wants and she just touches it and smells it or feeds it to us. She's been learning sign language and using a communicator to talk. <laughs> and as we saw today, she is regaining her voice. Her mom says she never lost her smile. The community has rallied to help this family cope, and as they head into the holidays, Tanita says she has a lot to be thankful for. I'm thankful that she's still here, you know, because that day when I saw her and I kept hitting that dog and he wouldn't let her go and I'm just, and she wasn't moving. I just, almost just passed out, you know. So I'm thankful that she's still here. Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5. So the fundraiser will be held for Zayna Boo next Friday at the Horseshoe Casino, Cincinnati, from 8 in the evening until 1 o'clock in the morning. Tickets cost $25. We're told it's being put together by the Sentinels Fraternal Order of Police.